dear students i am going to discuss the third module of uh, unix programming in this uh, uh, total three chapters we have to study the first one is unix file apis second chapter is the environment of a uh, unix process and third chapter which we have to study is process control so let us uh, start with unix file apis so for this there are two books you have to refer that is w richard steven and unix system programming using c++ that is written by terence chan so from this uh, third 7 18 13 15 chapter we have to study and uh, from terence chan we have to study 7 8 9 and 10 so first of all uh, we can have a glance on types of files so there are six types of files are there in unix first one is regular file it is a file which contains any data text or program instructions like c program c++ program and all these things or any text you write so that is called regular file or text file next one is directory file so directory store both special and ordinary files so directory file is nothing but it's, it it stores some another files fifo file so they are also known as named pipe they are special pipe device used for inter process communication fifo file is nothing but it is it gets input from one file or one process and it provides um, output to another process so means output of the first process will be provided by fifo to the input of another process next one is character device file it is used for input or output device and data is transferred one character at a time it is used for input or output device and data is transferred one character at a time yes so it can be used for input device also or output device but only thing is here uh, one character at a time only data will be transferred next one is block device file it is used for input or output device and data is transferred in large fixed size blocks the data will be transferred in a a uh, fixed block of size like 2 mb 3 mb or 60 mb of data next one is symbolic link file symbolic link is used for referencing some other file of the file system it is used to link uh, some another file like here um, suppose uh, in uh, our system so many hardware are there so for every hardware there is a corresponding a soft file will be present in unix operating operating system uh, so that uh, if a kernel wants to refer to the hardware it will consult the corresponding soft file so those soft file is only called symbolic link file next uh, the main thing we are, we have to study is file apis so what is file api and how to create different types of files so unix system provides a set of application programming interface called system calls which may be called by user programs to perform system specific functions means system call uh, file api or system calls are nothing but some special application program which will be called by some program to do or to execute some special task so it is simply 
application program which will be used by some user programs to do some specific task so they are called they can also be called system call or it is also called file apis application programming interface so the different types of file apis are in unix operating system are open api read api write api lc api close api and stat stat api so open api means this api is used by a process to open a file or data access this api is used by a process to open a file so if any process wants to open a file then it will call open api similarly read api is used to it is used by a process to read an open file similarly write api is used by a process to write a data into a file next lc so the api this api is used by a process to allow random access to a file lc is just used to uh, reach out or access any uh, uh, point in a file random access beginning middle or last then close close api is used by program or process to close an open file or terminate the connection to a file a stat this api is used by a process to query file attributes so different file attributes are there like a uh, uh, file type then uh, owner's permission then uh, uh, hard link and uh, then uh, group name owner name user name and uh, access permission size of the file so different types attributes six attributes are there sorry seven attributes so a stack api is used to query the attributes of the file next uh, unix file api is a stack so this api is used by a process to query file attributes this api is used by a process to query file attributes so this is also used by a process to query for file attributes ch mod the api is used by a process to change file access permission this this api is used by a process to change file access permission like a, a different permissions on a file will be the write permission read permission execute permission suppose a user has read and write permission it doesn't have execute permission so using the change mod ch mod api we can provide execute permission to the user next change owner so change owner this api is used by a process to change user id and group id of a file as we know that every file has user id and group id so if you want to change the user id and group id we can use the change owner c h o w n api then u type this api is used by a process to change the last modification and access time in terms of a file it is used to change the last access time of a file then link this api is used by a process to create a hard link to a file a hard link is nothing but uh, that uh, different path providing different paths for a file okay hard link is nothing like we can we have to create another copy of a file this another path of the file then on link so this api is used by a process this api is used by a process to delete hard link of a file then u mask this api is used by a 